Okay, everybody, this is my long-awaited awaited maiden for my uh, Gillows Fokker D7 project. This is a scratch built from a 1972 kit. Um, three channels, rudder, elevator. It's got an E-Flight Park 180 motor in there, and it's flying on a, a 300 milliamp uh, tooth cell battery. And say this will be the first flight. I've been waiting a long time to get nice conditions here. Uh, the hay is nice and tall, so if she's going to take a, a little bit of a nose dive, at least we got something there to cushion it. Anyway, I have no expectations as to what this little airplane is going to do. So, let's have a look and see. Well, as, as I suspected, <laughs> I think he's just a little tail heavy. Anyway, looks like the hay has uh, done its job admirably and has cushioned the fall. Okay, that's it for this clip. Okay, <clears throat> here we go for round two. As you can see, she didn't sustain any damage. What I have done is I've added a 1 8 ounce uh, lead sinker to the bottom of the nose. I've already put two in behind that uh, front cowling piece. So we'll see if this helps. Certainly has uh, plenty of power. Anyway, we'll try it again. I'm not sure what's going on here. She seems to be... There we go. Alrighty, I think we need, looks like she's got some issues there trying to turn to the uh, left all the time. I'm going to have to see about putting in a little bit of, or sorry, one of, I think it wants to go too hard to the right. So we'll see, we'll give it a little bit of left trim here. And we'll try it again. Looks like the nose weights actually uh, has helped. That was uh, full throttle for the launch. I'm not going to go full throttle the next time. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's quite the little handful. I think I might have to dial in some expo on the controls here because it seems to be very sensitive about that rudder. <clears throat> uh, here we go. Thank goodness for the tall hay. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to program in some expo here on this rudder. Okay. As you can see, the dampness here is starting to make the tissue go a little bit slack. Anyway, I've dialed in a bit of expo to see if uh, that will help dampen some of those uh, control oscillations out a little bit. Well, let's see how she goes.
think she's still a little bit tail heavy. Oh, that didn't sound good. That did not sound good. Landed in a spot where the hay's a little thin. Oh. Well, that's remarkable. <laughs> Not much in the way of damage. In fact, there's no damage at all. Except for the elevators. Elevator servo seems to be uh, pointing down quite a bit. Okay. Let's try and trim this out again. Might have to add a little bit more nose weight. <laughs> 